What happens when you react a weak acid, like benzoic acid, with a strong base like NaOH? Well, you're going to end up with a neutralization reaction where the H's from benzoic acid combine with the OH's of the strong base. Specifically, benzoic acid, if I was to draw its structure for you, looks something like that. And NaOH is more of an ionic compound. You've got an Na plus and you've got an OH minus as well. Now, neutralizations are what, you, are what happens when the H of an acid gets donated somewhere. And actually that H plus and the OH minus are going to be attracted to each other. That's going to give you water. Now water is neutral in pH. That's one of the, ah, oh, it's new, <laughs> neutralization. That's funny. That's one of the reasons when acid plus base equals salt plus some, or water plus something else ends up being called neutralization. What you're left with is that same molecule without the H and in its place you can write the Na. I'm going to write an extra minus charge there to show that it had lost the H plus. Then you can write the Na plus there as the counter ion. Benzoic acid without its H is called benzoate and this chemical itself is called sodium benzoate which you've probably read in ingredient lists as a preservative. Cool. Benzoic acid plus a strong base. You end up combining the H and the OH to make water. Then these two pairs combine to form the salt. And by salt, I just mean a dissolved ionic compound. Cool. Neutralization. You should try it sometime. Best of luck.